name is Jay Malinowski. I'm here with Lulu Magazine, and uh, I'm here interviewing the lovely uh, Krita Pirat, as I like to say, uh, Beatrice Martin. So I say hello, Beatrice. Hi. <laughs> okay. So I was wondering. No, you can look at the camera. I hate looking at the camera. <laughs> uh, what was your What was the first record that really struck you? Not maybe that was given to you by your parents, but one that you went out and bought or. The, the one that I bought, like, with my own money. That really inspired you, that got you. The Backstreet Boys, by far. You know what's funny about that? I, I was wondering, why do you think the Backstreet Boys had their first successful market in North America be Quebec? Because was... we get them. Yeah, like, why we was that? Them. On y comprend. I mean, like, I, I mean, don't, don't we all? Jay? That was the funny thing, was at the, I'm, I grew up in Vancouver, we got Music Plus and Much Music, I don't know why, <laughs> and so I was able to see the differences between Ontario and Quebec, <laughs> being an outsider of both, and I would no, notice that Quebec played always cooler kind of hip-hop videos, or trip-hop videos, so trip -hop. Yeah, but then like tricky videos and yeah. Massive Attack, but wow. then these Backstreet Boys would come on all the time. And I don't know, it wasn't happening in English-speaking Canada. Have so. you never seen the video for Backstreet's Back? It's amazing. It's bomb. They're all I have shirtless. seen that video, by the way. <laughs> They're all way shirtless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you have anything like, else? Uh, yeah, anything? I do. Um, okay, so... What in... Like, I, I, okay, let me think. I, I, I get, you know, it's funny. I'm getting all these questions. I'm going through all the ones I don't like being asked. Um, but really, what... Wait, what when you when you write, do you write lyrics first or music first? Uh, the melody comes first. The melody comes first. The melody first. comes first, and usually it happens in very very awkward moments, like when I'm taking a shower or when I'm doing my makeup, and then I have nothing to record with. So Neil Young, said, um, he was on, when he was on Charlie Rose, said that if he if a song comes into his head, he'll leave the room. That's his job as a person. That's usually what I do. So you will you be kind of a social like uh, <laughs> difficult person and just leave the room no, when you hear usually, something? No, it's funny when it happens like in the metro and stuff, and then you start singing on your phone, and then mm. people look at you like you're. You know, you're just singing on your phone. And then you get in their face and go, I'm heart of a pirate. Get out of my face. <laughs> I got songs to write and people to entertain. You don't know me. <laughs> so hi, Jay. Hello. So, seriously, you need to tell people what's the kind of product you use in your hair. Oh, I use uh, 1950s products for all, this, <laughs> for all my uh, for all my beauty techniques. Actually, there was this period where I was, you know... I, I, I like I just gotten a lot of um, my my grandfather passed away and and he was always a very stylish man. So I, just, I just started to think like I need to get into like something classic about that. So um, I started using a lot more. I was I would go to the section of the farmer pre where they would have like all the old men stuff, you know, like the brute aftershave, and I just feel like this is what this is what a man should do, you know. And I went to a party and um, someone came up to me and was like. <laughs> You smell like my grandfather. Well, what do you use? Is so it... I stopped using all those products. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, I'm natural. But the, the oh, what do I use for? The that, it's your secret, right? Like, I mean, no, no, no. It's no. broke. It's broke. Be the one person. Actually, who's the female artist that you admire the most? Aside from me. Okay. Aside from me. <laughs> uh, probably Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. Yeah, I was on. I mean. Now she has a, had a very troubled personal life, but I never, I, the way she can sing, I've never, um, no one can, she's, she makes, like, uh, she, she honestly, I think, I was talking about it with some, with some other guys, so it was like, the way she sings is like, the way, I don't think that guys, I don't think that guys have the same um, attraction to, to, to bands the way girls do. It, like it's not like you're like oh my god she plays in a band you know whereas that seems to happen a lot and I, but Stevie Nicks is one of those people when you hear her sing you're just like god you, it makes you want to cry you know it's just like she's got this amazing voice you get to ask me another question um, yeah, I actually have another good one because Jay is an amazing cook if this is one thing because female readers would like this um, and what do you think you're going to make tonight because I know you're, you're cooking I'm tonight. going to cook for <laughs> Nina for Nina Sudra yeah I don't know yet that's actually problematic uh, you need to think it through. It's cold today. I was thinking lamb, but that I know that you don't like lamb because it's meat. You know, I think working play, working in a restaurant is a lot like playing in a band. So if you work, if you play in a band that's not doing well, and you have to do every do a lot of work every day, like loading gear and stuff. And mm -hmm. A lot of like there's hurry up and wait, and then 
tons of pressure and nothing. So it's, it was kind of similar. It was good. Yeah, and if you do well as a chef, it's still a lot of that. Well, and the chefs yeah. become complete rock stars yeah. too. I yeah. think they're bigger rock stars than musicians. Okay.